Let's make masala puri, or tikhi puri, as we call it at home. Start by adding some whole wheat atta, or rotli flour, or chapati flour to a large bowl. Make a well in the middle, and we're going to add some salt, a little bit of oil in the well, add some hing or asafoetida, some turmeric, some red chili powder, and some carom seeds or ajmo. Just give this a, a good mix and incorporate the oil into the flour. Try to break it up and get a little bit of a sandy texture. Add a little bit of water at a time to form a soft dough that is not too wet. Cover that with a wet towel and set aside to rest for about 30 minutes. Once it's rested, go ahead and knead it a little bit more and break it up into small parts. I like to make them a little bit bigger, so I make about 24 with this recipe. So break them up into 24 equal parts or um, a little bit smaller if you like your puri smaller. Roll them into a ball and press them flat. And then we will get started with rolling the dough. Take a little puck of dough and roll it out by moving your puri around after every couple of rolls. Just pick it up roll and pick it up rotate a little bit roll again pick it up rotate a little bit and roll again heat your oil on medium high heat we want it pretty hot you can test it by adding a piece of dough to the oil and it should bubble and rise to the top right away you add your puri and you fry it for about five seconds five to eight seconds on the first side and about 10 to 12 seconds on the second there you have it masala puri or tiki puri